Lancaster, population 5,001 to 10,000. The city of Lancaster and the Lancaster campus of the University of South Carolina drew on the region's rich history with the Catawba Indian tribe to create a cultural center for residents, visitors, and students. The idea for a Native American study center began when city officials met with community groups. Discussions centered around using local culture and history to spur downtown revitalization. City officials discovered a potential partnership with USC Lancaster when faculty members shared their need for more space to display the university's half-million Catawba artifacts. In addition to gallery space to showcase the world's largest collection of Catawba pottery and artifacts, USC Lancaster needed additional classroom space. The city purchased a long empty furniture store located in the heart of downtown to house the Native American Studies Center. Faculty from USC Lancaster's Native American Studies Department worked with the city to design classrooms and labs in the newly renovated building. As we developed this program and developed the center, we uh, wanted to uh, highlight the culture and traditions of the Catawba, but we also found that um, we have in our state about a dozen state-recognized tribes, smaller tribes, um, that haven't had the recognition that they deserve either. And so as we developed our program here at USCL, we expanded beyond the Catawba, and we work with the Beaver Creek and the Waccamaw people, the Edisto people, the PD um, tribes, and try to serve as a um, center for all of our, our Native people in South Carolina. The city worked with regional tourism and preservation groups to develop a marketing plan to draw visitors and residents to the new center. The city added more parking areas and improved existing parking to handle the new demand and flow of traffic. Surrounding businesses are seeing an economic boost from the new cultural center. With students and visitors spending more time downtown, more dollars are staying in downtown as well. I was in a restaurant the other day downtown, and there's 15 of the ladies, looked like they was, you know, their 60s, had charged a little van from Spartanburg, and they was eating in one of our restaurants, and they found out I was the mayor of my wife, we usually eat there once a week, and they came over and introduced themselves to me, and said they're talking about the lovely place, and they are getting ready to have a tour, I think, at two o'clock here, that was one day last week, and there were about 16, 16 to 17 little ladies, and they, they're, they, they're just looking forward to it. They said that if it, they knew they were going to enjoy it even more so, but they're going to tell uh, their church group because they, they were very interested in the history of the Native American. And they spent some uh, a time here, had lunch at one of our nice restaurants. I'm sure they got a little gas here there, and that's what it's all about. Building on the successful partnership between the city and USC Lancaster, they are looking at relocating more of the university's departments to downtown. A once dark and dusty building is now a cultural and economic development asset to the Red Rose City.